I told you I wasn't doing a game room tour today. You're back in your car and skedaddle. I ain't doing it. Place is a sty. My wife, if she sees this video, she is gonna kill me. So go. Go away. You're a hard headed son of a. Get in here. Let's just do it. This better just end all talk of me showing my game room because I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's let's look into the look into the room. There you go. How about that? This is my game room. You know, and I call this my A-Wing. This is the A-Wing of my game room. Oh uh, yeah, I got games here, I got figures there. Run me luck, look, for instance, right here. Uh, I got a bunch of Gremlins figures. Got Casey Jones, I got Baxter Stockman, uh, Lady J, uh, let's see, who, uh, oh, Sepentor. I got, you know, you gotta have Sepentor hanging about. Uh, I got uh, shipwrecks somewhere around here. Oh, here, here's um, uh, Gung Ho in uh, in uh, his uh, dress uniform. So, uh, yeah, man. Where, where's shipwreck? Where the heck did shipwreck? I'm seriously gonna get mad if shipwreck's missing. He's my favorite Joe. This is my Super Nintendo section, and Super Nintendo is my favorite uh, gaming system of all time. 1A next to Nintendo 1B. And I got some of my favorite games uh, of all time uh, displayed right here. And uh, of course I got all my games, my Super Nintendo games in alphabetical order because they're easier to find of course on the shelf. Makes sense, right? And uh, down here we got my GameCube, PS2, and uh, my Wii stuff. And no retro video game collection is complete without some Nintendo powers. And I put these little, these little dividers right here to kind of keep them from uh, falling over. I really need to get some a better system for that. But I also got some uh, retro gamer magazines here, a really great magazine from the UK. So I'm gonna come over here. This is my Nintendo section. Uh, some of my favorite games on the NES. I have boxed, of course. I got Empire Strikes Back. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Uh, I like uh, Spar uh, Simpsons. Uh, Space Me Barbara vs. the Space Mutants. I like that game. It gets a bad rap, but I enjoy it. Uh, Rocketeer, underrated game in my opinion. And Ninja Turtles, uh, really great game. Uh, Contra, of course. Metal Storm, great game. Derek, I know you would agree with me on that one. Uh, Chip and Dale, awesome. So yeah, I love me some box Nintendo games. And just like Super Nintendo, I have all my Nintendo games in alphabetical order, except for this stack right here, which I just got, and I'm too lazy to integrate them into the system. I got a few rare ones, um, you know, mostly I just have uncommon to common games, but of course, you know, how could we forget this little gem? Surprise of Dinosaur Peak, one of the rarest games on the system. This game is uh, the, the rarest game that I own, the pinnacle of my collection by far. Uh, funny thing about this game though, is that... <laughs> Down here, we have loose Sega Genesis carts. Uh, this is, I, I'm still rearranging some of this stuff, but I have a very, very small uh, sampling of Sega CD games and Sega Saturn games. Dreamcast right here. And uh, I have one uh, TurboGrafx-16 game, 16 game here. Uh, a pack of uh, Dreamcast games that I got off a of spindle off of some dude for like five bucks off of uh, Craigslist. I don't usually buy loose games, but I mean, there's like 20 there um, for five bucks, so I was like, why not? Over here, Sega Genesis. On the shelf here, all my boxed ones. Moving on up to the top, and uh, we got 64 and 64 games. There's no easy way to display these things, so right now I just kind of got them on the shelf. Uh, this, this, uh, these two box games right here are really good condition. Uh, underneath that, we got uh, hand, more handheld stuff. Uh, Nintendo DS, yes, to uh, much of 
people's uh, out there surprise, I do play new school games. Uh, we got Game Boy games, and we got uh, a few uh, boxed Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games, and Sega Game Gear games uh, right here. We got computer games, Atari ST, Commodore 64 games, uh, Pong Clone. We got a lot, bunch of miscellaneous manuals uh, down here. Of course, is the PlayStation uh, shelf. And I don't, I don't have a lot of uh, of uh, PlayStation games, but I, I got a few. I got some, I got a few good ones. I got Chrono Cross, uh, Legend of Dragoon, um, Lunar Two, um, and Lunar Two, Lunar Two uh, Complete. In fact, I need to. Oh crap! I need to use this as trade bait. I forgot I had two copies. I need to put this over here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, actually, you you did serve a purpose for coming here. My Sega Master System that I'm still waiting to hook up. I got my uh, Atari XE system that I don't have any games for, and I got my beloved Vectrix system. I only have one game on it, and that's the game that's programmed into it, that Asteroids clone. Uh, it's it's impossible for us to ever find any retro uh, for any for us to find any uh, Vectrix games out in the wild. I never do at all. If I want to get a game, I have to actually go on eBay and literally chop off my arm at the elbow and send it to the guy to be able to get a game off of eBay with a Vectrix system. So uh, uh, if anybody out there wants to send me some, um, I'm, I'm not going to say no. Now, we're up here we got our top shelf stuff, and all this is just display, you know, box NES, N64. Uh, some of my favorite games on the NES, uh, Super Mario 2 and 3, Super Mario World, box complete, of course. Flintstones prototype, some of you know about this. It's the common one, Dino and Hoppy, not the really rare one, but it's a prototype nonetheless. And of course, we got my Gremlins 2 sealed in the box, one of my favorite games on the uh, NES, no H seam, you know, regardless, I, it, it's still a sealed game. Uh, ooh, and here's my Endless Ocean, Blue World, signed by the All Gen Podcast, uh, sexy as hell. Uh, a very, very, very poor, uh, showing by Nintendo, a Super Mario All-Stars game that really they could have put a lot much, uh, more effort into, in my opinion. And we got the, uh, Nintendo Power, very, very, very first edition. So, um... This is my top shelf of wonders. That's what I call it. I call it my top shelf of wonders. Let's, um, oh yeah, let's check out uh, this little shelf right here. All right, this little shelf houses a lot of awesomeness. Right here at the very top, I've got a whole stack of Game Boy Advance games, but I put them in DS cases and uh, that way I can display them and they have a little home and I printed out the artwork. Good stuff here. On this shelf, I have Intellivision games. My very favorite game on the Intellivision, Burger Time. Got to have that complete. And I got loose 2600 games. I got loose Intellivision games. Uh, Gremlins on the 2600. Pat Uncommon Game. Down here, we got Odyssey 2 and, you know, UFO on Odyssey 2, great game. And down here at the very bottom, we got TI-99 computer games. Uh, again, I'm, I'm noticing a theme here, but you know, this is Alien Edition. And if I'm gonna learn math from anybody, it's gonna be an alien. All right, so over here, we have uh, these bins uh, got these at Walmart for I think like uh, this was ten bucks and that was fifteen dollars. So handy. I mean, you got your you put anything in here. You got uh, uh, component cables, uh, RF cables, uh, power cords. Uh, got light guns. I got this thing's all full of light guns and, and um, accessories. And uh, got spare controllers down here at the bottom. Uh, up here, I got spare boxes for the N64 that uh, that I just I don't have any room for on the shelf yet. Um, you know, real, real winter games like Home Alone 2 boxed, um, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. You know, stuff stuff that are that is awesome. You know, I just don't have any room for it on the shelf. And uh, I got just little you know, laying here on the ground. I got my Commodore 64, and uh, underneath that, I got my Odyssey 2 in the box. 
Um, yeah, and just two Game Boy games sitting there for I, I God knows why. And on this miscellaneous table, I got my TurboGrafx-16, uh, two Coleco systems, I got my Sega Saturn, and I got my Sega CD, I got my Dreamcast, and I need to put this over here so I'll remember to trade it for someone. Right here, that. Now this is the C-Wing of my game room. Now, to a lot of you, it may look like a closet. And it is. You know, uh, I put my clothes in here because my wife's apparently a, a clothes maniac and she's taken all the room in our own bedroom. But I, I have some extra toys and stuff in here. Um, I got the I got the Slave 1 that I got from Mac, uh, uh, Pax East or West, whatever the we went to. I got extra toys. I got a Bebop. I got, you know, I got Unicron here. I got uh, a G.I. Joe tank. A lot of awesome stuff that I just don't have anywhere to put. But, like I said, this is no ordinary closet, okay? This is no ordinary closet. It's a transforming closet. This is... It's a transforming closet, okay? To the unsuspecting viewer, it's a normal closet. But then, I pull this number right here, and it becomes one bitchin' green screen. This is where the magic happens, folks. I sit down on here, and I'm like doing my interviews, and I'm like, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, little tour. Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you, I've had no wife for like three, three weeks or so. She's like in Mississippi doing Air Force stuff. And I've been editing, constantly editing Game Changer episodes for the last four weeks, so I haven't had a lot of time to clean up. But I, I, I live in a, a two-bedroom apartment, so there's not much I can do when it ter in terms of creating a good game room. I have to confine everything into a little bit of a space, but I have every intention of having an awesome setup in here eventually. Uh, I, I have an idea of what I want to do. I'm going to get a new TV, I'm going to get a shelf, I'm going to put some systems up, and it's going to be awesome. So. I'd say give me about three weeks, three weeks to a month, I'm going to have an awesome room. And I'm going to invite you back to take a look at it. So until then, peace out. And um, can you help me clean up? Can you help me, can you help me clean up? Uh, you get that part, um, I'll start over here, okay? Awesome. time travelers from our future. This is key stuff, people. This is stuff that we need to really start paying attention to. Don't just brush it off.